Hey guys, Mama Mita here. Today I am baking a plain white loaf of bread and I am using the bread machine. The bread machine I am using is a Sunbeam 5833. Now, I did a video before this that showed the machine and how to use the machine and the gadgets that I use. So now we're ready to actually go into baking the bread. So here we go. First off, let me give you a flash of my recipe. All right. So, going by the recipe, we're going to use first off is our cup of water. So, um, let me back up here a minute. Anyway, this is the, the little box that you will use. And you can see that there's a paddle. And that paddle, some people like to spray that with a, a nonstick spray. I don't use that because that's too much aerosol for me to be around. So I don't use that. I just, if I feel like it might stick, then I might swab it with a little bit of olive oil. But I usually just leave it alone. Okay, so let me put this um, camera up here, position it up here. Okay, all right. So first off, we're going to put our one cup and two tablespoons of warm water. And here's my little thermometer that I explained in the video last time. You want to make sure that the water is not too hot. If the water is too hot, it'll kill the yeast. If it's too low, it won't. It won't work. The bread will not rise. And you can see it's about, it's coming up to be like one nine, one ten. There we go, one ten. All right. So I always like to put all my ingredients in the bucket outside of the machine. I like to keep my machine clean inside. There's my water. And then I'm going to add two tablespoons of olive oil. There's one, and there's two. Okay. okay, then the next thing I'm gonna add will be my two tablespoons of sugar. And then one teaspoon of salt. Then I'm going to use my measure cup and I'm going to put three cups of flour. It's kind of hard when you, when you don't really have good use of your hands. <laughs> Hopefully that problem goes away real soon. I just love this machine because I don't have to kneel anything. It's just basically drop it, make sure that it all got mixed up, and turn it on, and I've got a nice loaf of bread. Now, on the flour, I buy my flour from Winco. They have a very large selection of Bob's Red Mill flour, as you can see. Bob's Red Mill, and this comes out of Oregon. And I like Bob's Red uh, Red Mill. I get my flour and my yeast from Winco. Um, but Winco has a huge selection of flour. Okay. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to add this flour. Okay. 
okay? Then I make a little well. Then it's time for the yeast. Now, on the yeast, I like to get my yeast from uh, Winco also because uh, I can get a big bag of yeast for $3.63, which I find that very cheap. So you're going to go with one, two, three, four, and then you're going to go the half. So that's four and a half teaspoons of yeast. Okay, now, move that to the side. So now you can see that I've not mixed anything up, and I don't mix anything up. I wait, and I just set it in the little machine, and you want to, when you put it in, okay, it'll snap. Hear that? That's your snap. Okay, so then you go over here, and you select it, and I selected on the sunbeam here to number 5P. And I push the start button. And there it goes. Now, I let that run. I keep my lid up. And I let it run. And while it's running, I start cleaning up my stuff. Putting things away at that point. So. And you always want to keep your yeast in a darker, colder area. I keep mine in the refrigerator. Now, you want to get your spatula now. This is important with this machine. Maybe your machine is not like that, but mine's a 1999, so it's pretty much, you know, like, I mean, it's, it's got some miles on it. So the important thing is, I'm going to bring this camera down so you can see that, what it's doing. Now, okay, so now it picked up speed. Now, you see when it picked up speed like that? You want to make sure that this flower is away from that back wall. You want to move the flower towards the center so that it all gets mixed in the correct way. And it's going to do this for like 10 minutes. So once at that point it gets mixed up, I don't wait for 10 minutes. I just go ahead. Once I know that the flower is away from the wall, then I shut the lid and I let her go. And in 58 minutes, you will have a loaf of bread. Now, you girls, if you want to make something like this, you can always just, you know, wear your little apron and smear some fire on your face and on the front of you. <laughs> Hide the machine and invite your mom and dad over and impress them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. You see how it, it has a hard time. Sometimes it has a hard time picking up because it's got to go all the way to the center. And I just work it. I get in there and work it. Make that flower get in there to the middle of that ball. And then once it gets to the middle, and I shut the machine down, I just uh, shut the lid down, I just leave it. Okay, it's getting there. But it's very important that you do that because if you don't, otherwise what's going to happen, it's going to bake just plain flour. I mean, you can still eat the bread, but it's going to be ugly. Now, if you feel that this is a little bit dry because maybe you're in the south or you're in another area, you can add a little teeny bit of water to it, like maybe a, a tablespoon, or maybe even up to another tablespoon. But do not add a whole bunch, because then it's going to be like not 
uh, it's going to be like kind of too soft. And that's not what you want. Okay. Now you see that? Look how nice that is there. Okay. So now I just shut my lid. And so we will come back and check on that loaf of bread in 55 minutes. All right. We're getting ready to open up our bread machine top and see how our bread looks. Mmm, I can smell it. Delicious smelling. Mmm. Okay, but first before we do that, I want to back up and remind you about the flour at Winco. So I got, I found my receipt and it was $6.20 for, for five pounds of organic um, flour, as you can see here. Okay, and I like to use that type of flour because I just worry about the pesticides that might be on the wheat and stuff and so I want to kind of stay with that I've been happy with that and for me that's important because I feel like if you're gonna eat something you should eat you know good stuff not the stuff that you know that's got pesticides and you don't know if it's got chemicals or what it might have in it or where it's coming from I always worry about that because I have a lot of allergies and so that's important for me but you guys should take take a, a little trip to Winco and see what uh, they have to offer with all the flower selections because they've got a large flower selection there. Okay, so moving along, um, getting our stuff here ready. Okay. I want to talk to you a little bit about this box now. So I keep the bread in the box once after I cut it. and Sometimes I don't even bother to cut it. I just cut what I want and put the rest of it back inside the box. And as you can see, um, I have a little bit of bread left. That's my last little bit rare that I have that. So sometimes what I'll do if I made a salad for lunch, I'll take this and maybe put a little bit of olive oil on it and just brush that all over that and put a little bit of salt and pepper and maybe a little bit of dried basil and some garlic maybe. You could actually mix the garlic with um, the olive oil. And I like to keep my garlic in my refrigerator and what I do is I run it through the food processor um, with a little bit of olive oil and I just keep it in a little container like this and then I just mix it with my olive oil and I put it on my bread and then I cut it in little cubes put it on a plate and I put it in the microwave for like about a minute you want to really watch it though because it can burn fast and if you don't want to use olive oil you could use butter that would be fine too but you just kind of like you know let it cook a little bit in there with the microwave but watch it carefully then you bring it out and you let it cool off a little bit and you use it for your salad so now let's take a look and oh another thing is and if you have if you want to use um, that for the you can use what you have left over for the croutons. You can also uh, crumble this up. Crumbles very nice. You crumble it up and you can dry it also in the microwave and you can use it for breadcrumbs. You could also, if you have anything left over, or even stale bread makes a really nice bread pudding, a white chocolate bread pudding. Mm, boy. Now the south is coming out on me a lot here. Okay, so let's see if this is... Oh, I don't know if you can see that or not. But looks like it's getting ready to sound off and let us know that it's finished. Wow. And to my surprise today, I went over to go do the laundry at my son's place because he lives behind me. And my other son has his office next door. And he surprised me with this sweet potato butter. <laughs> <laughs> I love sweet potato. I love butter too. <laughs> you know what? The biggest surprise was <laughs> it's from Georgia. <laughs> my family's from Baxi, Georgia. This is well, it's not, oh my goodness, it's from Georgia. <laughs> I I know where State Borrow is at. <laughs> so I thought, well, I'm gonna enjoy this on the bread for sure. <laughs> Okay, can you hear that? I sure don't because I'm deaf. <laughs> but let's take a peep and see how, how it's looking. Oh, I sure hope you look good. <gasps> look at that! Yay! Look how beautiful that bread looks. It's just waiting to be eaten up. 
<laughs> now you see how easy that was it's just basically dump it in the bucket make sure it gets to the center it makes this little ball okay so let me position this camera right so that we can <laughs> me and my camera situation i just got this little stick for my birthday and boy <laughs> It's a little, I have to learn all these gadgets. I'm not much into these technology gadgets and stuff. So, there's my knife. Now, what I usually do is I take the dish towels. And you want to be very careful because this, this thing is super hot. So, I lift it up so it's out. I set it right here. Okay. And I get ready. Because this is where I don't oil the blade. I just cook it and get ready to eat it. <laughs> okay, so now I'm taking it and I've got the back. I'm holding with the towel. And I give it a couple, look at that, paddle came right out. <laughs> or the thing came right out of the bread. You see that? Now, you see there's a little bit of bread there. Don't worry. I just wait till it cools off and I nibble that. <laughs> so good. Okay, well, let me put this over here so we don't. All right, there we go. So we got that out of the way. And so, woo, woo, that's hot. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, so there we are. Our nice loaf of white bread from the bread machine. See how easy that was? Wow, now this is a three cup loaf, okay? And I've made four cups loaf before too, but they get really tall. I think they kind of, to me, I personally find them a little bit kind of hard to work with. I like this one better. My husband loves the crust around the side. So when he comes in, if he gets a hold of it, he pretty much leaves the middle for me. <laughs> anyway, okay. So then at that point, if I want to um, cut it, whoop very hot okay you're supposed to let it sit out for a little bit but I'm gonna go ahead and cut it and show you how it looks hopefully I can cut it with this uh, arm and and this hand so all right so I just take it and I kind of hold it lightly usually my husband does the honors <laughs> Okay, look how nice that is. I that's why I don't like to apply too much pressure on top because then you kind of flatten it. See that? That's beautiful. So nice. And this bread, if you put it in that little Tupperware box, it lasts for quite a while. Look at that. So now, let's see. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Boy. And this has even got a little fancy glass. He got this from Eastern Washington. They went on vacation last week, and so he brought this back for me. And I'm like, oh, this is so nice. <laughs> okay. Let's see how this is. Ooh, that looks nice. And it's sweet potato butter. You know, there's a lot of apples up here in the Northwest. And I remember as a child growing up, we had apple jelly. I really can't find apple jelly here in the Northwest. And I think they call it maybe apple butter or something else. But anyway, I'm not. Okay. Here we go. Tasting test. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Wow. That's really good. That's really good. Hmm. Well, that's the end of my video today on making a white loaf of bread. So if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Bye now. Hmm. 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 Hmm.